Japan, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Yo, what's up, Pride Nation? Back at you with another one on today. I am TA of Noble Sports Entertainment. If you have not subscribed to this channel, then what are you waiting for? Because we talk sports, period. All right, guys, without further ado, we're going to talk about running back CJ Anderson and the expectations for CJ Anderson in 2019. So let's do it. All right, guys, you know, in the offseason, the Detroit Lions uh, decided to sign running back CJ Anderson on a one year deal. Basically, bringing him in to be a compliment to carry on Johnson because the Detroit Lions do not want to put the workload totally on carry on Johnson. They want to be able to run carry on Johnson, but you don't want to run him to the ground. Um, he's a young guy, but at the same time, uh, the Detroit Lions have been going with the run by committee for a while now. And uh, I definitely think that it's needed. It's needed. You don't want to put all that pressure on one guy. But you want to be able to have um, a guy that can change the pace up, too. And I definitely think that that's the type of running back um, C.J. Anderson will be for the Lions. He will be that change of pace type of back that comes in and um, gives on Johnson breathers. But will still be keeping um, the boat afloat. And I definitely think that he has an opportunity to be successful in this round and, um, ground and pound game with uh, Daryl Bevel's new offense that's going to be run heavy. So I definitely think the offense will be in a balanced offense, but at the same time, it's going to be run first. So everything is going to be predicated on making sure that we're able to run the ball, making sure the uh, the linemen are getting better with their run blocks. That's something that the linemen definitely needed to do is get better with uh, run blocking. And um, once they uh, are able to do that, I think the skies is the limit for the backfield that these guys will take off. And uh, carry on Johnson was definitely – on his way to having a thousand yard season last year only in, to be hurt against the Carolina Panthers and um, pretty much uh, stopping him from getting to that thousand yards. He ended up with 600 some yards, but I definitely think that this might be the breakout season for carry on to be able to get a thousand yards, which the Lions have not had since 2013. But uh, definitely uh, both of these guys will share a lot of uh, touches and both of these guys will be productive for us. And we have the opportunity to be one of the best uh, run run by committees in the uh, the NFL. I definitely think that C.J. Anderson is going to give us that punch. We saw what he gave to uh, the Rams. And if he, if he comes in with that mentality that he had when he was on the Rams, I definitely think that the Lions will have a great backfield and a great one-two punch this season. And that's just something that we need. We need guys in here that's going to produce guys that's going to score touchdowns, guys that's going to be physical, guys that come in and ready to put that work in and want to see the Detroit Lions win. So um, it's going to be exciting to see um, the offense that uh, Daryl Bevel runs and uh, how effective Carrion Johnson and C.J. Anderson can be in that offense. So the expectation for him is definitely just to be um, effective and to be able to produce when Carrion is not on the field. That's something that we're going to need out of C.J. Anderson, and I definitely think – that uh he'll be able to do that all right guys i'll be back to you soon peace